All right, welcome back to the Sweetbriar Farm Kitchen. In this video, we're going to do a taste comparison between our Dexter steaks, and then we have some Hereford steaks as well. So this is the first time we've had Dexter steak. We've had these Hereford steaks plenty of times from our steer, probably a year and a half ago. I'm going to cook them sous vide, so in a water bath, and then finish them, sear them on the, on the pellet grill. And these are still a little bit frozen, which is okay for sous vide. Um, you put them in the sealed plastic uh, water bag, and then we'll set them for 129 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 1 o'clock now, so we'll eat dinner around 5. So they'll be in there for about four hours and then uh, then sear. So I'm just going to season them with some adobo seasoning and I have some with some spice as well. So adobo with some chilies. So I like things a little bit spicy. So this is a grass-fed Dexter rib steak and I have some you know, these T-bones or porterhouse. Perfect steaks. So hopefully you can see on the camera how much darker the uh, Dexter beef is. This is a five-year-old animal. This was a year and a half old. But uh, nicely marbled Dexter beef here. A little bit more marbling in the Hereford. This adobo seasoning has salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, and turmeric. The nice thing about cooking sous vide is uh, you set it for the temperature that you want. So we like our steaks medium rare, medium, um, and it'll stay at that temperature, that, that uh, level of doneness, I guess you could say. And then when you sear it, it'll uh, put a nice crust on the top, and then um, you know, the inside will stay to that level of, of, of how you want it uh, cooked. I'm going to use a Weston Pro 3500 vacuum sealer. We bought this a few years ago since we will raise 100 to 200 meat chickens a year. Seal. You don't want to get any water in the bag when you're doing the sous vide. Okay. On the sous vide, you can use like a pot for your water bath. Um, I bought this sous vide container. It's got a lid. But we're just going to fill it with water. We've got an ANOVA water bath heater. It's actually got Bluetooth features and stuff. And I don't really pay attention to that, but set the temperature to whatever you want. We're going to go 129 degrees, keep our steaks medium rare. And then when we sear them, it'll cook them a little bit long, a little bit more, but the inside will stay that nice medium rare. I'm going to fill the sous vide container here up until the water covers the steaks nice. You can also use Ziploc bags as long as you get most of the air out. But since we have the vacuum sealer, I'm using that. These are nice if you uh, process your own meat or we, like we do our own chicken. You can have uh, boneless chicken breasts. You can season them before you put them in the bag and then just pull them right out of the freezer and put them right into the water bath even when they're frozen, and then cook to the desired temperature. And then again, when you're done, you just sear them on the grill. You can sear these on the flat iron, 
charcoal grill. And you can use a torch. Sometimes you might need to use a plate or something to kind of weigh down the bags if they start to float, but these are pretty well sealed. There's not a lot of air left in the bag, so it should be fine. Everything's covered good. And I'm just going to hit the start button, and it's going to bring that water up to the 129 degrees. Like I said, these are going to sit for about four hours in the water bath, and then I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So this is what they look like after about four hours in the sous vide. Doesn't look very appetizing, but uh, we're not quite ready for dinner. So the nice thing about this is you can leave these at this temperature for a long periods of time. Some people I've seen even do it over 24 hours, so. All right, so I'm gonna pull them out of the sous vide. For a good sear, you want to pat them dry, but I have very little paper towel left, of course. And right now, they are the most unappetized looking steaks you've ever seen. But that will change. for about five, ten minutes. Blind taste test. Blind taste test. It's really good. Super tender, super juicy, loaded with flavor. Alright, steak number two. It tastes different, so. Yeah. The second egg is also very good, but it doesn't have half as much flavor as the first. Got a different after finish. Yeah, that's true. Here, Finn. Try that. <laughs> What's it taste like? Let me get him a piece of 
big as his arm. Describe it. Describe it. Is it tender? Mm. Juicy? It's a, it's a little juicy. Try this piece. Oh. Hey, which one did you like better, the first one or the second one? First. The first one? Okay. Try that one. better. The red one. The red one? <laughs> they were both cooked to the same temperature. Yeah, the meat is just, it has a naturally darker so this uh, color tender. to it. Which one do you think this one is? Dexter or Hereford? The red one is Dexter. Well, you've never seen meat that color on your plate before, have you? One likes All right, try this one. Mm. Good? Show him the brick. Swallow your first bite. So spicy. Oh, did I, maybe, maybe this is the spicy adobo one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. What about the beef flavor? Oh, I really I didn't have the spicy one. You've had the spicy one too. Yeah. yeah it's just... What do you think? This, this one or this one? Is that spicy? That one? Alright. The red one is spicy. So the one thing against the Hereford is that it has been in the freezer for a while. But well, it was vacuum sealed, so there's nothing wrong with it. It's, I still love it. And it's still it's just, good. That one's red. And it tastes the Dexter, I think, all is that around. Killian? Yep. Yeah. Killian it and Brian. It's delicious. So, uh, what, an almost five year old Dexter beat out a, what, like year 15 and a, month year old? Year and a half old Hereford. They, they were both delicious. They're both delicious. I just like Killian. But the Dexter is better. Yeah. For sure. It's also got an amazing so color. That's five year old bull, Dexter, year and a half old Hereford, grass fed. Grain finished. I mean, he ate hay too, but. Yeah. I think we made a good choice raising Dexter's. You think so? They're delicious! Well, then I didn't hear you. Everything from the farm steak, potatoes, broccoli, and even the butter. Homemade butter from Greta.